I'm Kathleen Falsani. I am an author and a columnist. One of my colleagues at the Sun-Times, she was selling raffle tickets as a fundraiser for a NGO in Chicago called um, Global Alliance for Africa. So I bought a raffle ticket, and the ticket was for a two-week trip to East Africa. And forgot about it, because I never win anything, ever. So I'm driving to an assignment on Upper Wacker Drive in, in my Miata, and my cell phone goes off. And as I'm kind of going, yeah, yeah, let me call you back, blah, blah, I hear this, no, 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 you won. And I said, what do you mean, you won? He goes, you won, you won the trip to Africa. And at this point, like, I pull over. We left in late September of 2007. And what this organization did was try to reconnect these street children with their family, any family, anywhere. And so they would travel when they could all over the country trying to track down distant relatives. So we drove out to this area called Chileco, a poor area of one of the poorest cities in one of the poorest nations in the, in the world. And out runs this little squirt. Could not have weighed more than probably 35 pounds, like bean pole legs, huge eyes, you know, these high cheekbones, this beautiful little boy, his name was Vasco heart was beating so hard, it was shaking his body and his body was shaking mine. I said to the guy who was with us, what's wrong with him? He's obviously very sick. He said, all, all we know is that he has something wrong with his heart. He has a hole in his heart. Even the poorest kid in Chicago, even a homeless kid in Chicago who had this problem would be in a hospital that night, would be at Stroger that night having something done to help him. I got on that plane and I started to cry. I was just outraged. It was that sort of, um, justifiable holy anger at this is just not right, that the only reason this child is probably going to die early is because he's poor and African. And so when I got back to Chicago, I wrote about Fashko's story and my frustration, just like I explain now, about not being able to do something for this child and, and how wrong and unjust that was. And that, that column ran on a Friday morning. And by Saturday morning, the next day, two hospitals and a half a dozen doctors in Chicago had volunteered to fix Foshko's heart for free. We went in for the heart surgery on June 10th. It was fabulously successful. They were moving him from ICU into a regular room. And I remember standing there watching CNN or something on the television when I saw the news that Madonna was able to get her daughter out of Malawi, which opened the door for other people to adopt and which enabled us to pursue an adoption of, of Bashko. I won a raffle. I, I, I bought a raffle ticket and I won a family. Um, there's a verse in somewhere in the Talmud, I think, that says, if you save one life, you save the world entire. So I feel like I, I took a chance. I, I bought a raffle ticket, I won a family, and I saved the world. It's just God's hands are all over this. We had to just get out of our way and let God move. And boy, did God move. Mm -hmm.